You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India has a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Karim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. A popular festival in Hinduism is that of Ganga Dashera, which celebrates the origin of Goddess Ganga, which was recently celebrated with full fervor in some North Indian states. So this week, we take you to various pilgrimage sites in India, where devotees gathered at ghats of River Ganges to mark the festival. Have a look. Hindu devotees gathered at the ghats of River Ganga in various pilgrimage sites, where devotees took a holy dip and offered prayers to celebrate the festival of Ganga Dashera that marks the descent of the holy river on earth. Regarded as a celestial river of Hindus originating in the heavens, the legend holds that Ganga was gifted to mankind in response to the great penance undertaken by King Bhagirath, after whom she is also called Bhagirathi. Bhagirath, a descendant of the legendary Sagara dynasty, prayed for Ganga to descend onto the past earth and bring life. This holy festival is observed for a period of 10 days. On the occasion, devotees performed rituals and prayed to mark this special occasion in northern Varanasi and Prayagrad cities. Ganga is the Sahara. The Bhagirath has brought Ganga today. They are doing Asunan. और उनको चढ़ाते हैं फूल माला फल कपड़ा आरती करते हैं दान देते हैं According to the Hindu mythology goddess Ganga came down to the earth on Dashmi month of Jestha and freed Bhagirathi's ancestors from a curse It is believed that if one offers prayer on this day one attains salvation from 10 sins Every year, pilgrims from all over India take part in the festival and bathe in the holy river in large numbers. आज ये दो साल से जब से ये रोग चला है कोरोना का तब से तो एकदम भीड़ नहीं हो रही नहीं इस बखत तो यहाँ बैठने की जगह नहीं मिलती रही आस्थावान जो हैं वो नहीं मानते वो आज भी अस्नान करने के लिए चल दे रहे घर से चाहे जो हो the Ganga is considered holy river and is worshipped by Hindus who make up about 80% of India's 1.3 billion people. They call it Ganga Mata or Mother Ganga and believe a dip in the river absolves a lifetime of sins. The Ganga Dashera festival reflects the variety of rich cultural traditions of India. And such festivals set of shared attitudes, values, goals and practices that symbolize the plurality of its Indian culture. Jammu in Kashmir recently got soaked in festive spirit as its Gandharbal district hosted the annual Kher Bhavani festival. One of the biggest religious festivals of Kashmiri Pandits, the celebration not just limits itself to one community, but it's open for all, making it a perfect example of communal harmony. No matter what religion we follow, we are one family. These words showcasing India's strong bond of secularism resonated loudly at the Khir Bhavani temple located in Tulmula village of Jammu and Kashmir's Gandharbal district. Housing the shrine of Ragnya Devi, a revered goddess of Kashmiri Pandit, the temple is the holiest destination for the community who visit it mostly during the annual festival that falls on Jesht Ashtami. Though it is a big occasion for Kashmiri Pandits, but people from all communities eagerly take part in it, 
setting a beautiful example of peace and brotherhood. This year, amid the pandemic, though the crowd was quite small as compared to previous years, but the enthusiasm among the devotees was no less. Devotees paid their obeisance to the goddess while observing all the COVID-19 SOPs. पिछले दो साल से अभी ये कोरोना लास्ट ईयर भी कोरोना था इस साल भी कोरोना है लेकिन हमारे जोश में कोई कमी नहीं आई है जैसे कि ये कश्मीरी पंडितों का एक बहुत बड़ा दिन होता है जेष अष्टमी तो हर साल की तरह इस साल भी हम लोग उतने ही उत्साह से उसको मना रहे हैं इस टाइम हम नहीं देखते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिर्फ हम देखते हैं प्यार आपस में और श्रद्धा ये बिल्कुल नहीं देखते हैं कि ये हिंदू है ये मुस्लिम है सिर्फ प्यार और प्यार और प्यार Inside the temple premises there is a sacred spring symbolizing goddess Ragnya Devi also known as Khir Bhavani within the spring is a marble temple dedicated to the goddess According to the legend there were 360 springs surrounding the main spring but all of these have disappeared as land became marshy all around Today during the annual festival devotees offer rose petals milk and kheer a rice pudding to the sacred spring to pay their obeisance to the goddess Along with this devotees especially males also take a holy dip in the stream close to the shrine It is said that pundits from far away places visit this temple only on the occasion of Kheer Bhavani but for the entire year it's the muslims of the area who take care of it and make sure that the tradition is kept alive Even during the festival they pray for the return of their hindu brethren to the valley Bhai chara kisi ko samajh nahi aata hai pandit kon hai muslim kon hai sikh kon hai ये कोई किसी को पता नहीं चलता था क्योंकि एक ही जैसे होते थे आय के बगैर भी हम दुआ करते हैं वही दिन आए कि हम एक दूसरे के साथ गले लगा कर चले हम ये हमेशा दुआ करते हैं टुडे द फेस्टिवल हैज टर्न आउट टू बी द मोस्ट शाइनिंग एग्जांपल ऑफ कम्युनल हार्मनी एंड ब्रदरहुड इन द कंट्री एंड वेरी वेल प्रेजेंट्स द सूफी कल्चर ऑफ द यूनियन टेरिटरी that binds people of different faiths and communities together now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently india felicitated kashmiri youngsters who summited mount everest earlier this month against challenging weather odds the expedition was a joint effort of srinagar based jawahar institute of mountaineering and winter sports uttarakhand's nehru institute of mountaineering and the indian army The team faced two back-to-back -back storms at Camp 2 during their summit in May because of two cyclones on the Indian mainland. The team finally managed to summit the Everest on June 1 against all odds as many teams returned to base camp waiting for the weather to clear. बहुत सारी टीमें वापस भी आ गई हमारे इंडिया की बहुत और भी टीम सी ए पी एफ की टीम थी हमारे साथ 48 लोगों की टीम तो जब वेदर खराब हुआ दो तीन दिन रुके वो वहाँ तीन दिन के बाद वापस डाउन हो गए बाकी और टीमें थी फॉरेनर्स थे सारे लोग डाउन हो गए और हमने फिर वहाँ बहुत टाइम बिताया और हम वेदर का वेट कर रहे थे कि कब वेदर खुलेगा कब खुलेगा और लास्ट में फिर थर्टी को ट्वेंटी नाइन को वेदर खुला और फिर हमने एक जून को सबमिट करा दी कश्मीरी मैन हु स्केल्ड एवरेस्ट बिलोंग टू अम्बल बैकग्राउंड It was for the first time in India that two national mountaineering institutes collaborated for such an expedition and the first international expedition of GIM and WS. The Indian IT industry has witnessed a growth in revenues and employees as many companies announced the transition to remote work as part of the efforts to keep their businesses running smoothly. Chennai capital of Tamil Nadu state in southern India is an important center for the IT industry where many companies have adopted working from home in response to COVID-19 lockdown measures employees who work from home often need to work overtime to deal with increasing orders as regular operations of IT companies has led to an increase in orders we continuously working from home for the last one and a half years this become a prolonged stressful life for us nearly some 10 to 12 hours 
we are continuously seeing our laptop and uh, uh, working from in, in spite of that the from company standpoint the productivity is not uh, affected uh, in fact it is uh, doubled the indian it industry witnessed a 2.3% growth in revenue at 194 billion us dollars while adding 138000 employees in 2020 according to the national association of software and service companies or nascom the world renowned lock making industry in aligarh employs a large workforce this includes both hindus and muslims Today in our series of beautiful examples of communal harmony from across the country we will take a look at how the lock making industry of Aligarh has been propagating the message of peace and brotherhood India has always been a land of peaceful coexistence and a multicultural societal framework be it any state city or territory people of different religions have been residing harmoniously One such city is Aligarh in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh whose centuries old lock making industry is famous all around the world apart from producing world class clocks the industry presents a unique example of communal harmony in the country Aligarh has a mixed population of Hindus and Muslims and they have been working together since ages to make this industry stronger by the day सभी तरह के लेबर मेरे पास रहती है क्योंकि मुसलमान भाई किसी चीज़ के एक्सपर्ट हैं दूसरा समाज का किसी चीज़ का एक्सपर्ट है तो हर आदमी अपने अपने फन का फनकार है तो सभी से मिल कर के हमारी इंडस्ट्री चलती है तो हमें तो जो है हर समय अपने सभी वर्करों का ध्यान रखना पड़ता है और उनको भी समय से पैसा देना पड़ता है उनकी ईद हमारी ईद है हमारी दिवाली उनकी दिवाली है उनको ये महसूस नहीं होने देते कि भाई कोई चीज़ किस जमाने में जिए Aligarh city has been making locks since the Mughal period but when the british came they streamlined it into a major economic activity at the turn of the 20th century aligarh was already producing 500000 locks per annum valued at rupees 276000 hr neville district gazetteers of the united provinces agra and odd aligarh 1926 Buoyed by its success, the British government set up a metal workshop here in 1926 to train artisans in lock making. In the coming few decades, every family in the district and lakhs in neighboring ones had had at least one member associated with the industry. Since ages, Hindus and Muslim have thrived together due to their bond of love and their passion for lock making. This passion has taught them to live together harmoniously. This wave of brotherhood has affected everyone in the city and people of different religion reside together with utmost love and peace. Aisa koi Hindu Musliman wali baat koi hai nahi behavior acha hai inka. Samjhe? Main kar main to apne inke ghar ki family ki tarah aisa rehta hu ya koi aise bhed bhav wali baat nahi. Samjhe? Jo imandari ki baat hai karigaron ka khayal bhi rakhte hain. India home to multiple religions and languages is known for its diversity peaceful coexistence and regard for other religions is an integral part of the indian ethos and examples like these only reinforce our beliefs in the secular fabric of our country yoga is the journey of self through the self to the self Since ages this ancient form of exercise has been helping and enriching lives of individuals not just in India but around the world. Each year International Yoga Day is celebrated to popularize the power of yoga. This year too the 7th International Yoga Day was celebrated with adherence to all COVID-19 norms. They say a fresh mind and a healthy body can dispel darkness and yoga has been helping us to achieve the same since ages. An invaluable gift of our ancient tradition, yoga is being known to the entire world since 2014 when United Nations General Assembly declared 21st June as International Yoga Day. This year 7th International Yoga Day was observed and India being the birthplace of yoga too with immense enthusiasm and with strict adherence to all COVID-19 norms. 
in Mumbai city of Maharashtra, yoga enthusiasts took up to the ancient practice near the Kanheri Caves, a heritage collection of basalt caves and rock-cut monuments. हमारे जीवन में योगा रोज ही करना बहुत जरूरी है हर ए योगा छोटे आठ साल के या दस साल के आगे सत्तर अस्सी साल की उम्र तक के लोग आराम से कर सकते हैं इससे हमारी शारीरिक मानसिक और भावनिक संतुलन अच्छा रहता है Meanwhile in Goa a yoga program was organized in the backdrop of Aquada Fort a 17th century Portuguese fort overlooking the Arabian Sea Citizens perform various yogic postures and breathing exercises to inhale the fresh morning breeze and perform the ancient practice at a heritage site Unke archaeological important site which is Aquada Fort yahan bana ke मैंने इंटरने योगा इंटरनेशनल डे का और भी इम्पोर्टेंस बढ़ा दिया इस योगा इंटरनेशनल डे के प्रोग्राम्स के थ्रू आर्कोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया की साइट पूरे वर्ल्ड मैप पर फिर से एक बार आ गई इसलिए मैं गोवा सरकार की तरफ से फिर से एक बार उनका ही अभिनंदन करता हूँ पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेज टुक द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा टू दीम एंड ऑफ द कंट्री Soldiers perform Surya Namaskar and other yog asanas on a snowy mountain in Ladakh at an altitude above 18000 feet amid snowfall and in the picturesque Himalayan valley. Armed forces also performed yoga in the scorching deserts of Jaisalmer city in Rajasthan. This year's theme for International Yoga Day was Yoga for Wellness in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. कोरोना के बावजूद इस बार की योग दिवस की थीम योगा फॉर वेलनेस ने करोड़ों लोगों में योग के प्रति उत्साह को और भी बढ़ाया है मैं आज योग दिवस पर ये कामना करता हूं कि हर देश हर समाज और हर व्यक्ति स्वस्थ हो योगा इज एन एंशियंट मेडिटेटिव टेक्निक दैट क्लेंसेस हिल्स एंड हार्मोनाइजेस द बॉडी फ्रॉम इट्स कोर इट इज अ प्रैक्टिस दैट हैज बीन एक्सेप्टेड वाइडली इवन इन वेस्टर्न कल्चर्स फॉर इट्स कैपेसिटी टू ब्रिंग बॉडी बैलेंस एंड कॉमनेस ऑफ माइंड Next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section World in Focus. Yokohama city is the second most populous city in Japan with a population of 3.7 million. The port area facing Tokyo Bay is an area that harmonizes the open and beautiful harbor with a history of accepting western and asian culture. Theme Park Gundam Factory Yokohama featuring Japan's leading robot animation character Gundam was opened last December near Yamashita Park. The 18 meter tall Gundam move attracts the most number of visitors. Gundam is a popular Japanese animation robot hero and is known not only in Japan but also around the world through plastic model and anime screening. The name of this Gundam is Gundam RX 78F00. It is assumed that Gundam was found in Yokohama city in pieces such as hand and feet and was repaired to move again. On observation deck special photo of the beautiful scenery of Yokohama city and Gundam are very unique. 非常にあの大きいんですけれども小さい部分ディテールが非常に緻密に作られてますんで。そういった部分も楽しみいただけるんじゃないかなと思っています。世界初の動く RX78 ガンダムをですね、ぜひ皆さんにまずは見ていただきたいと思っています。その上でやはりガンダムというのは、まあ世界の人々にまあ勇気を与えるような存在であってほしいなと以前から思っておりますので、ぜひですね、まあコロナ禍ではございますが、日本に来れるようになりましたらぜひ日本に来ていただいて。世界初のこのガンダムに見て触れていただきたいと思っております
at sunset on Yokohama city. The view of the port changes beautifully. The moving Gundam offers special view at night. It's fantastic sight that comes to mind with the backdrop of the illuminated Gundam, the sea and night view of Yokohama. Yokohama is a city full of energy where visitors can engage in unique activities. Gundam Factory Yokohama will be scheduled to open until March 2022. On a small island where the Senegal River meets the sea, hundreds of mask-wearing jazz enthusiasts listen to French Senegalese vocalist Awali sing a blues for uncertain times. Last year, COVID-19 halted St. Louis's Jazz Festival for the first time in its 29-year history. This year, it was back, bringing much-needed life to the island of St. Louis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site famed for its colonial architecture and pastel-coloured houses. African rhythms, funk, gospel and blues could be heard along the narrow streets last weekend, emanating from restaurants, bars and hotels into the early morning. And I'm grateful that we made it, well, that we, 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 we had the opportunity to do it, you know, like last year there was no festival at all. So, uh, so really it's a big, 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 big event and you, can, you could feel that people were so happy to be, to be there and uh, that everybody was kind of a party, uh, that everybody were, were like, I was relieved and everybody was relieved too and it was a beautiful energy, a beautiful vibration, a, a beautiful link also between, between the stage and, and the audience. Built as Africa's biggest jazz festival, St. Louis has struggled with dwindling attendance since its days, hosting headliners like American pianist Herbie Hancock, who played there in 1996. But it does draw enthusiasts from across West Africa and Europe and is a source of pride for the city's street performers. Enjoying hot sand bath is a unique experience in Japan only found in Ibusuki, Kagoshima prefecture where many volcanic landforms can be found. あの、あの、there are a number of clocks lined up in the sand bath hall to remind visitors that they should not stay in the sand for more than 10 minutes so as to get the best benefits of the bath and avoid dehydration. <laughs>冷え症。体感的には to take a sand bath, visitors can borrow a yukata, get into a sand pit and let the attendant heap sand over them. The heated sand will warm the whole body and its weight also aids in improving blood circulation. There are facilities with steam sand bath located right by the sea and the sound of the waves relaxes the mind.
That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindianainin.com. I'm your host, Scary Man. It's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.